I want to take this time to uh, to thank everyone for this opportunity, and uh, it means so much to me. Sometimes you have a a rough time talking because of the fact that you get so emotional about what you're about to do, what you're about to begin, and and the journey that we're going to start. But I, I, I couldn't begin anywhere without introducing the guys that have been with me for a long time. Jonathan Thompson, my defensive line coach. All right. Greg Black, my offensive line coach. My son, Rick, who spends all my money. And Coach Hayes, my defensive coordinator. These guys have been with me a long time, and you know they let me along uh, for the trip, and we've had some great, great times together winning. And this is what we expect to bring here not just winning on the football field, but winning in the classroom. And, and I know a lot of people just say that, but if you're not winning in the classroom, you're going to have a rough time on that field. And we're going to lose you. We're going to put a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of work, we're going to chase you down, we're going to wake you up, we're going to go check classes, and we're going to do it right. If you're late, five minutes, you better be five minutes early or you're late. Or you're going to, or you're going to be late. And I just want to let you know that if you plan on playing at this institution, you have a lot of time to transfer, you have a lot of time to move on out if you have to, but right now, you're getting ready to play Division I football. And this is what we're doing. Um, it, 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 it reminds me of just a short story I want to say to you. Um, I don't know if you guys ever heard about uh, the man in the hole. And I want to share that story with you because it means a lot to me. There was a guy, he was riding his bike and along, along the pavement, and his bike fell down in the hole. And he was down in the hole and he couldn't get up. He was trying to get back up on top of the, trying to reach up, trying to reach up, but he could never get up there. And evening was coming around and he heard his mother coming by from the grocery store. And he says, Mom, Mom, Please help me get out of this hole. Please help me. His mother says, Mike, I didn't raise you all this time. You're strong. I know that you can get out of that hole. I know you're just joking around. So I'll see you home for dinner at 6 o'clock. And he sat back down in the hole and didn't know what to do. Didn't know what to do. His friend came by going down to the basketball court. His friend, he called up and says, Jim, is that you up there? Jim said, who's that, you Mike? Is that you down in the hole? I can't see you. He said, yes, it's, it's me, it's me. Throw me a line, throw me a rope. Do something, get me out of this hole. He says, you're the highest, you're the highest jumper on the team. You, you, you can dunk a basketball. Stop kidding around. I'll see you down at the I'll see you down at the court when you get down there. And he and he sat there and he said, geez, I he tried again and he tried again and he tried again and he tried again and he couldn't get out of this hole. He just couldn't get out. The preacher came by. The preacher came by with the Bible. He says, Father, is that you, Father? Is that you right here up there? He says, Yes, my son. What are you doing down there? He says, Father, I'm going to die if I stay down in this hole. If I stay down in this hole, I'm going to die. 
And the father said, you go to church every Sunday, Jim. Every Sunday you go to church. Here, take the Bible, pray, and I'll see you at church on Sunday. And he said, that's it. Nighttime, nighttime fell. And he was actually dying in that hole. He was losing, the air was getting out. He was actually dying. He was gone. And the old guy came. You never know. You never know who can do it. You never know who can help you. And this old guy came, bearded, sh shirt torn, and he looked down in the hole. He looked down in that hole, and he says, is there somebody down in that hole? He says, yes, sir. Just leave me here. I'm dying. I'm going to die in this hole. Just leave me here. And the old man, no shoes or nothing, jumped down in the hole. And he says, Mister, why did you jump down in this hole? We're both going to die. He says, Son, I've been down in this hole before. Come on. I'll show you the way out. And that's what I want to tell you. I want to show you the way how to get there. All right. I'm going to show you how to get there. I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you how to get there. We're going to do it the right way. We're not going to be late for practice. We're not going to be late for academics. We're not going to chase you around. We're going to find out ways to find out if you're doing it right. And I'm just so thankful to the commission to the president, to the director of athletics for giving me this opportunity. I want to win. I came here to win. And I expect you guys to stand up and be Division I. Now, if you're Division II, it's time to move out. It's time to move out if you're D2. Because when the fur fly comes spring, it's going to be recognized that you're Division Two. So let's get ready to play Division One football and knock one dead. What do you say? All right.